Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. You are welcome to the word of God from the short word for today. This is the audio narration of the written short word for today's daily devotion published daily and sent to our subscribers. If you are here for the first time, I will be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends and social network. I want to thank you for sharing. Our mission is to deliver God's word in spirit and truth. Things might be rough with you now, but it is not your entire story. Don't make decisions when you are not mentally capable because you will come to regret the decision when you are okay. Your current condition is not your permanent position. Time is of the essence. Change is on the way. Your present condition is not permanent. Could you not make it permanent? God is the author and finisher of your fate. He promised that his plan for you is to bring you to a fruitful end. God will turn things around in your favor late in the midnight hour. Don't you ever give up. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. You can have everything in life you want if you will help other people get what they want. Stop complaining about the people you help that didn't return the favor. God never assigned that they will return the favor. You were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Expect the best. Prepare for the worst. Capitalize on what comes. In the end, God will make all grace abound towards you. God bless you. The affirmation for this week's sure word for today. God has assured me with his word. Today's title for the sure word for today's series is God and His Word, Part 5 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. Quote, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Unquote. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Until you face a life or death situation, you may not realize how difficult it will be at the time to trust and rely on God entirely. We are quick to judge others, not realizing the pain in their shoes. You need to be patient with everyone and love them unconditionally. God doesn't need your opinion. 1 Kings chapter 17 verses 13 and 14 quote, And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus said the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the head. Unquote. Elijah knew how to trust God at his word and obey. It is his business and lifestyle, but not the same with this poor woman. When he arrived in Zarephath, he saw a woman in desperate poverty gathering sticks on the dump outside the city. Elijah asks her for a drink and as the woman turns to go and get the water, Elijah says, quote, and bring me some bread, unquote. Put yourself in her shoes. There she was at the dump outside the city gathering sticks to make a fire. On this fire, she planned to bake some bread with the full expectation that this would be her last meal. Then we have these remarkable words from Elijah. 
who asks for bread as he assures her not to be afraid. The word of the Lord comes to this woman through Elijah, calling her to make a great sacrifice. To take God at his word will mean making a great sacrifice. God will provide what you need when you need it, not an overflowing jar and an overflowing jug. You can take him at his word and trust him as you walk with him in faith and obedience. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. We have reached the end of part 5 of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled God and His Word. Please don't go away. The Sure Word capsule is next. The Sure Word capsule is God's creative power. Welcome to the Sure Word capsule. A capsule is a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The Sure Word capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the Word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. You will be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the short word capsule. Please confess after me. I am a person of integrity. I am a person of integrity. With the right attitude and specific goals. With the right attitude and specific goals. I have high energy. I have high energy. I am enthusiastic. I am enthusiastic. And I take absolute pride. And I take absolute pride in my appearance. In my appearance. And what I do. And what I do. I have a sense of humor. I have a sense of humor. Lots of faith, lots of faith, wisdom, wisdom, and the vision, and the vision, empathy, empathy, and courage, and courage to use my talents effectively, to use my talents effectively. I have discovered in me the many deposits of talent. I have discovered in me the many deposits of talent, and I am valuable in all walks of life and I am valuable in all walks of life. I have character and I am knowledgeable. I have character and I am knowledgeable. My convictions are strong. My convictions are strong. And I have a healthy self-image. And I have a healthy self-image. A passion for what is right. A passion for what is right. And a solid hope for the future. And a solid hope for the future. I am an honest, sincere, hard-working person. I am an honest, sincere, hard-working person. I am strict but fair and yet sensitive. I am strict but fair and yet sensitive. I am disciplined, motivated and focused. I am disciplined, motivated and focused. I am a good listener and patient. I am a good listener and patient but take decisive action, but take decisive action. I am bold, authoritative and confident yet humble. I am bold, authoritative and confident yet humble. I am an encourager, I am an encourager, a good finder, a good finder, an excellent communicator, an excellent communicator and I am developing winning habits and I am developing winning habits. I am a student, a teacher and a self-starter. I am a student, a teacher and a self-starter. I am obedient, I am obedient, loyal, loyal, responsible, responsible, dependable, dependable and prompt and prompt. I have a servant's heart. I have a servant's heart. I am ambitious and I am a team player. 
I am ambitious and I am a team player. I am personable, optimistic and organized. I am personable, optimistic and organized. I am consistent, considerate and resourceful. I am consistent, considerate and resourceful. I am intelligent, competent, persistent and creative. I am intelligent, competent, persistent and creative. I am health conscious, balanced and sober. I am health conscious, balanced and sober. I am flexible, punctual and thrifty. I am flexible, punctual and thrifty. I am an honorable person. I am an honorable person who is genuinely grateful for the opportunity. Who is genuinely grateful for the opportunity life has given me. Life has given me. These are the qualities of the winner I was born to be. These are the qualities of the winner I was born to be. I am fully committed to developing these marvelous qualities. I am fully committed to developing these marvelous qualities. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. I am delighted because I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. I am delighted because I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am my superhero. I am my superhero. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to anyone. I will not compare myself to anyone. I am a loving person. I am a loving person. I am purposeful. I am purposeful. I am created with divine intention. I am created with divine intention. I feed my spirit. I feed my spirit. I train my body. I train my body. I focus my mind. I focus my mind. It is my time. It is my time. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. And today, I am choosing happiness. And today, I am choosing happiness. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. And I accept the best now. And I accept the best now. I get things done fast. I get things done fast. I never put things off. I never put things off. I am a doer. I act quickly. I am a doer. I act quickly. I am motivated to finish my tax. I am motivated to finish my tax. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I am a proactive person. I am a proactive person. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. We have reached the end of the Shoreward Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Shoreward Capsule. Please visit www.theshoreward.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also request a Shoreward Capsule to be created for any challenge you are experiencing. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please don't forget to share this audio devotion. You have been inspired, motivated, encouraged, and empowered to become the person God created you to be. For more encouraging words of faith, inspiration, and the resources to overcome your challenges, 
Subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. You will be the head and not the tail. You will rise above your challenges because you are more than a conqueror. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.